Hello, and welcome to Gumberg Library's video tutorial on formulating a research question using PICO. PICO is an acronym that can serve as a framework for organizing a research topic. By considering the elements that make up PICO, this helps in ensuring your question is specific and well-focused. The four elements contained within PICO are P, which can stand for person, population, or problem, depending on the context of your question, I for intervention, C, which could mean comparison or control, and O, which stands for outcome. By identifying the PICO elements you'd like to research, you can then format your research question to include them. For example, let's take the PICO elements listed below. Our population is adults with multiple sclerosis. The intervention is medical marijuana. The comparison would be opioids and the outcome would be providing pain relief. We can then rearrange the PICO elements to create a research question. How does medical marijuana compare to opioids in providing pain relief to adults with multiple sclerosis? One of the benefits to using PICO is not just creating a research question, but also helping you find relevant literature. You can use the individual PICO elements as building blocks in your search for articles and references. For example, you can string together all four of your question's PICO elements using the Boolean operator AND. This ensures that your results will include all of the terms you're searching for, and not just one or two of them. Once we combine our keywords together using AND, we have the beginnings of a well-structured search phrase. Another key part of conducting an effective search using PICO is to consider synonyms, or similar terms, to your key PICO elements. If we think back to our sample PICO question, we can try and think of other ways that the literature might refer to each term or concept. Consider the term pain relief. This could also be referred to as pain management, pain control, pain reduction, or simply just pain. Once we've come up with some potential synonyms, we can combine them in our search string using the Boolean operator OR. By including similar terms, we're lowering the likelihood of potentially missing out on relevant articles to our topic. We can further expand our search's scope by factoring in synonyms for our other keywords and ultimately combining them to create the full search phrase below. Now that we have the search string put together, this is when we can paste it into the library's databases to begin to look for relevant articles. One thing to note as you search is that there may not always be literature that hits all four pieces of your PICO question. When this happens, you can always try adjusting your search to include three out of the four terms, such as removing your comparison and searching PIO, or removing your intervention and searching PCO. This may be a way of finding additionally relevant articles to your topic. To show you the impact this can have on your results, let's adjust our search and remove the comparison terms. The search statement below reflects our PIO elements. You can see that this was a lot more successful in finding relevant articles to our topic. Keep this tactic in mind when it comes to searching for your own PICO questions. Other question frameworks exist that use different parameters, and they serve the same purpose as PICO does, focusing the research question. PICO is a framework used primarily for researchers or students in the health sciences. I encourage you to read up on each question framework to decide what format works best for you. To learn more about PICO, you can check out our evidence-based practice guide at the link in the description. Gumberg's librarians are well-versed in conducting literature searches as well as formatting research questions. For additional help, feel free to contact the library.